their 1999 single, Amaze, spent 30 whole weeks climbing the Hot 100 until finally landing at number one for two weeks in March of 2000, becoming the first country song to top the charts since Islands in the Stream. November 7th, the group makes their return to Alberta, playing a show at River Cree. Richie McDonald, singer of the group Lone Star, joins this afternoon. Hey, Richie, how are you? I'm wonderful. How are you doing this evening? I'm good. Pleasure having you on. Are you excited to come to uh, Edmonton for your show? We are. We, you know, I know we were talking before we started, and uh, just uh, we, you know, we don't get up there enough. It seems like it's. Um, you know, I know we. I can't remember the last time we were there, but we we love it there. I mean, just uh, the fans have always been wonderful to us. Um, they seem like they've always really um, appreciated the music that we do, and um, plus the fact that you have one of the biggest malls in the world. Sure doesn't hurt. <laughs> well, it's grown, so I hope you go visit it when you're here. Oh, I've made plans. The other guys, see, you know, I, I look ahead. So the other guys, we have a couple of days off out in California in L.A. Well, they're going to take their days off in L.A. I'm taking my days off in Edmonton. All right on, Richie. Uh, let's go back to 1992 when you guys formed. Uh, you formed as a band named Texasy. Tell us how the group was formed and why eventually they changed to Lone Star. Well, Dean Sams, our piano player, he actually formed this group uh, back in 19, uh, 90, about 93. And it just so happened, it was a coincidence that we were all from Texas. And, and so we were kind of thinking of a name that we could go by. And this was before our record deal. So we were all from Texas and we lived in Tennessee. And so we just then kind of came up with the idea, you know, called it Two States Together, Texas C. And... When we got our record deal, the label asked us to change our name to something else besides Texas City. So we still tried to stay with the, you know, our roots, and we went back to the Lone Star State and came up with the, the name Lone Star. Amazed, I believe, is your signature song. Do you still enjoy singing that tune? Oh, absolutely, every night. Uh, I could never get tired. I don't get tired, really, of any songs that we sing, but that one especially, just because... I know what it means to the fans, uh, even to this day, you know, and, and that's what the music's always been about for us, just to see the reaction and see people, you know, you know, especially when you see couples just holding each other during that song. And um, I, I just know what it means, and, and that means everything to us. Uh, you've had numerous hits over the years. What is that one song that uh, you were most proud of? Well, I think personally, uh, as a songwriter, it would have to be I'm Already There and an artist just because that song was inspired by my family, you know. But uh, I, took a, I took a situation that I was having and we were having being away from our families and basically turned it into a song, and a song that uh, went on to uh, inspire a lot of men and women around the world, especially those that are fighting for our freedom, that um, are away from their families a lot more than we are away from ours. So, yeah. um, you know, I'm already there. It's just that song that... Uh, it's probably nearest and dearest to my heart just because of what it has meant to, to our fans. You released a new album last year. Now, one of my favorite songs on that album, which, by the way, a very powerful song, Just the Rain. Tell us about that song. Well, Just the Rain is another song that I wrote with a good friend of mine, Jeremy Bussey, up and become a Nashville songwriter. And uh, we just got together one day in a little room and in Nashville, actually it was at my house, now that I think about it, but um, we were out in my studio and, you know, he just throws out an idea. He goes, I got this idea I've been thinking about writing called Just the Rain. And then he kind of told me the, you know, the storyline behind it. And I said, I love that. And, and, you know, it's just a song about, you know, uh, somebody reminiscing about a love love lost, you know, and, and kind of turn it into a positive moment, you know. And every time, yeah, every time it rains, you know, the this whole town thinks that it's just, you know, rain falling. But this person that's kind of remembering their loved one is just thinking that, hey, you know what, that's someone that's talking to me through the rain. So it's a pretty special song to us. Again, we got Richie McDonald, the lead singer of the group Lone Star on the line this afternoon. Uh, they're performing November 7th over at River Creek. Richie, what's your favorite thing to do when you aren't writing or playing music? Well, golly, you know, I, I love to uh, play basketball. I love shooting hoops. Um, um, to, that's going to sound funny, but uh, when we're out on the road, honestly, 
I like walking around malls and just looking. So I can't wait to get to Edmonton because uh, I'm going to have a couple of days just to walk and look and walk and look and, you know, just, just killing time. After uh, 22 years uh, of performing, 22 plus years, uh, do you still get nervous? You know, I think it depends on the situation. I mean, I think a lot of times if we're playing uh, live to camera or something like that on TV, I may get a few butterflies. Uh, sometimes uh, during some, you know, crowds. I mean, I, you know, I, I never take it for granted still to this day. I get out, you know, because they're always afraid that you're going to, you know, uh, forget a word or a lyric here or there. So, uh, you kind of always got to be on your toes, but you know, I, I still, I still get a. I don't know if it's butterflies, but uh, I still get, you know, uh, a really um, anxious feeling before we hit the stage. You know, you know us Albertans love our country music, and we love Lone Star. We're looking forward to seeing you uh, perform at River Cree November seventh. Uh, Richie, uh, appreciate your time this afternoon. Oh, you're very welcome. Well, we look forward to playing, and it's going to be a really awesome night. Oh, I can't wait for that show, November 7th at River Cree. This is Lone Star. It's amazed on CFWE.